coming up on today's show. I just hope that it brightens people's day and makes them laugh and that they enjoy it and take away the message of homo hetero love. We need artists to truly be who they are and not make music, you know, very uh, heterosexual just because it may be more popular. Please be aware of how you are judging yourself, how you are labeling yourself or creating yourself. And the next person that you see within your close community, embrace them, listen to them. Our show at its core is about the transformational effects of love and acceptance. And that is something that we need more of now than we've ever needed before. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, hello, everybody. Another yes. week, another great show. Exactly. Uh, but you know, before we I start. I love your shirt, by the way. Oh, yeah. So, a little casual today because, you know, I'm always wearing the polos, and, you know, yeah. Jet North has, has it all. And Tons so, of stuff. just started to wear this little sleeveless number, and I quite like it. Yeah. It's great. It's a subtle logo, but it's there. I'm also wearing something new. Nice wide scoop neck on this one. Um, it depends on what your preference is. So thank you again, Jed North, for the sponsorship. We love it. Thank you very much. JedNorth.com. You get a discount if, mm -hmm. you, uh, if you use our discount code, which we will put in the description. So up first, we have my friend Noam Ash, who is famous for his first web series called My Gay Roommate and has a new one called Boyfriends that he's here to talk about. Welcome, my dear Noam, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Let's tell our audience what you are about to launch. Yeah, so uh, 10 days ago, we released the trailer for uh, my new half hour comedy pilot, Boyfriends, which is the half hour version uh, of My Gay Roommate. Uh, it's a mm. brand new show based on the original concept. And the full pilot is coming out this coming Tuesday, September 29th. And I'm really excited for everyone to see it. Where can they watch it? On the My Gay Roommate YouTube channel. Nice. Yes. We'll put that link in the description and also up in the corner of this screen. So you guys can go watch the trailer right now and also come back on Tuesday for the actual release of the of the pilot. Shit. Oh my god! What are you doing? You just looked at my dick! No. <laughs> are you jerking off to tentacle porn? We will never speak of this again. Everyone thinks I'm Madonna. It's getting kind of strange. Every time I get my hair bleached, they keep calling out my name. That's them. <laughs> The Windsor boys, acapella royalty. Those guys look like assholes. I worship those assholes. Gross. There was no consent. You marijuana raped me. Oh my god, this is my song. Ladies can't resist a straight man at a gay party. Yeah. So what is the, what is the show about? What's the premise? If nobody's seen my gay roommate, they might not know. So what's the premise? Sure, yeah. So the show is about two college roommates. One is gay and one is straight and they wingman each other through college. Uh, and you know, it's a buddy comedy. They're best friends. Um, and it's a really fun, quirky show. Uh, it's, I like to call it an aspirational show because mm -hmm. even though the, you know, the conceit of the show is that one is gay and one is straight, we never really talk about that. That's kind of the backdrop of the show. Um, and there's never any conflict around that. So it shows the world, not only how it was for me personally, but how I believe it should be for everyone. What is it that you want people to take away from, from this series, from the show? Right now, there's a lot of heavy stuff going on in the world. And I'm hoping that we can provide some comfort and some hope uh, and a vision of what the world could be uh, if we put love first. And uh, I just hope that it brightens people's day and makes them laugh and that they enjoy it and take away the message of homo hetero love. That is exactly what the world needs right now. Thank you so much for joining us on the Queer Talk Show. Okay, thanks. Good luck on Tuesday. 
See you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Be safe out there. All right. What is up next, my friend Justin? Oh, well, we also, this, this past week on the network, uh, had a queer conversation with uh, a new friend of ours who is a singer-songwriter. Um, and she's got a new single that was just released on Friday. So we did a little queer conversation with her all about it. And uh, we got a little clip to show you. I am queer, I'm gay, I'm gender bending, gender fluid, she, her, like I'm, I'm me. How will I love someone if I don't accept myself and love myself? And that's, that's really the message here is like, focus on yourself and how you really feel. I have a new single coming up. It's gonna be released Amazing. September 25th. It's called I Wanna Know. And that's sort of about like, you know, even if you're rejected from somebody, there's hundreds of people who will love you for you. Just love her music, love her and her, um, her song is out now. So make sure you go check yeah. that out. Yeah. And up next is our wonderful, something we look forward to every week is our moment with Lucille. We are way more similar than people understand, but we all have to acknowledge we have a backstory. We have a past. So someone's journey is way different than yours, but wherever they're going in life, if someone says, this is how this makes me feel better or more supported, what is so wrong about being able to acknowledge that? And then maybe if it's difficult to question, okay, where am I not willing to embrace this new idea? Where within myself have I been judging myself for things that I have done where I can't even allow myself to be challenged by something and say, I did this once upon a time and now I've learned better. But if we're constantly shaming ourselves and judging ourselves, maybe for some past transgression, I'm finding that it's much more difficult to see someone in front of me and say, huh, I see you now. I can see you and understand you. But I've got to be willing to look at myself first and not judge myself for what happened when or where I've come from or who I've been or what I've done, but realize and understand I am evolving. Please be aware of how you are judging yourself, how you are labeling yourself or creating yourself. And the next person that you see within your close community, embrace them, listen to them hear how they want to be addressed, hear how they have come to understanding who they are so that maybe we can be able to reflect within us. Maybe I can be as confident or understanding or as aware as this other person. Remove the judgment, remove your shame, step into the embrace and you will be surprised at who embraces you in return. Sending you so much love, so much positivity and the reminder that you are whole and you are complete set your boundaries and allow people in safely. Thank you for sharing this moment with me. I'm Lucio and I will see you next week. Yes, what a relatable topic, judgment. It's something we all have an opportunity to be more aware of and make new choices about. This week's Queer as Fuck moment is special, special because it's Canadian. And uh, if you pay attention to pop culture, you probably know a little bit about Schitt's Creek. Uh, and they also just swept the Emmys this past weekend, breaking a record, winning seven Emmys. And the Emmy goes to Annie Murphy, Schitt's Creek. Daniel Levy, Schitt's Creek. Catherine O'Hara, Schitt's Creek. Eugene Levy, Schitt's Creek. Daniel Levy, Schitt's Creek. Andrew Cividino, Daniel Levy, Schitt's Creek. Schitt's Creek! Oh boy. Our show at its core is about the transformational effects of love and acceptance. And that is something that we need more of now than we've ever needed before. Where can people see it now? Because it's over. So where, I get, oh, so on, it is on uh, Netflix. Yeah, it's Netflix. on Netflix. So that's our show for this week. Uh, we are so blessed to have you as part of our audience. Thank you for watching. Thank you for everyone who's contributed. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. We've got some amazing things coming up. Speaking of which, Justin, tell them what's happening. 
Well, we are taking a week off to really prep for the week after when we launch a new focus of the queer talk show, all and the queer network, all in the direction of health, well-being, and spirituality. That is the funnel with which we want to put everything through uh, from a queer perspective on the network. So we hope you enjoy that. We think it's really time. It's something Eddie and I are so passionate about ourselves personally, and it just is the most authentic way we can move forward. So we're really excited. About Absolutely. It. And don't forget, as always, keep it queer. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. I have no idea what we're doing, but we're doing like this. We seem to work when we don't know what we're doing. Exactly. Okay. <laughs>